Laszlo Fegasi, Hungary, Charlene Van Den Bosch, the Netherlands. On your marks and get set. Not only is this event against the clock, but the competitors must also load a minimum of 270 kilos into the railway trucks. Each basket will weigh 90 kilos. That's a 14-stone man. Yes, the tall men are at an advantage putting the baskets on, whereas the short men are at a disadvantage, and both Laszlo and Charlie are very tall. Well, Laszlo has the advantage. There's Charlie's first basket going on. Oh, he seems to have hurt himself there. Yes, it looked like an ankle or something, could have strained an ankle running back. Well, nevertheless, he's plodding on it, but going very quickly. This is a reasonable time, and both are shoveling hard. Yes, it's a good race, too, between both of them. Charling, despite any injury, is turning second. Yes, it doesn't look like the ankle's bothering him now. Up with that final push, basket number two goes on. It's a race now for the final basket. So where's the pain for the competitors, Jamie? The pain must be in the legs. The legs will be really feeling it now, running back and forth with the baskets. But I'm sure the backs are very tight from the boat lift yesterday and all the day's events. Well, for a big man, Charling's got down very well and he's struggling. There's the clock, 1.35. The time is going to be good. A final lift onto the truck, and it's there in 1 minute 41 for Van den Bosch. And Fekert is not far behind on 1.49. And Laszlo's turn to emulate the Viking roars. We join Henning Thorsen from Denmark, nearest us, against the Estonian professional wrestler Apu Spensky, each on their second basket. Henning's height of six foot three will be an advantage in lifting these baskets over the smaller man. Yes, Henning there, no problem putting that basket on. Apu's having to lift the basket at the bottom to try and get that extra height when he gets to the car. More of a struggle for the smaller man. A good effort. Henning very fast with the shovel there. His technique on the shovel is fantastic. But there, by contrast, Apps baskets all over the place. Yes, he's... Yes, he's putting it more stable now so it doesn't tip over. But Henning's already on his third basket. Henning's coming to finish. This looks a very fast time. 1.28 on the clock. That's the winner. Has he got it on? Yeah, that looks like the winning time. A time for the Great Dane, 1 minute 34, the fastest yet. But Espensky is still battling on bravely. Very gutsy show from the smaller man, and he's enjoying himself. Well, he's almost there now. The time, 1 minute 51. But heat three now, and O.D. Wilson against Adrian Smith. First and second overall, and Adrian's trying new tactics. Yes, Adrian looks like he's filling all three baskets. O.D.'s onto his second basket. Now it looks like a big tactical error for Adrian. Odie's coming back now for his last basket, and Adrian hasn't loaded one yet. Well, I wonder if panic will set in, because he's way behind the giant. Yes, and that basket looks light. It only looks half full. He's just throwing it on. Well, it's the problem there is that he has to reach 270 kilos. He could be underweight. Yes, it's leaving a lot to do on this last basket, but it doesn't look like he's got any stones left to load. Final effort to lift this one up. Oh, he's lost some kilos there. He's losing a lot of stones. And he really needs a big third basket. And I look rather discouraged by that because OD is on his third basket and almost ready to go. Looks like Adrian's lost it. His momentum's gone. He seems to be panicking now. The stones are scattered all over the place. It's impossible to find them. Yes, he's only putting half shovelfuls in. I wonder if his trainer's letting him down. Surely he should his be advising trainer should, His trainer should have told him. OD's off on his third, but Adrian's set. Adrian's trainer's let him go with half a basket on his third one. He's got to be underweight now, surely. And Adrian's slow as well at two minutes ten. On your mark, you get set. <laughs> the final heat and the two men with much to prove. John Paul Sigmason that he's not out of this title race. Ilkun Namista that he's worth the very considerable local support. And already these two are loading very quickly, Jamie. Yes, they've set off at a blistering pace. I'm just wondering if they can keep this up through, through the whole heat. They're both taking very big baskets, full to the top. This They're is... both very fast with the shovel. 
Sigmundsen at his best, but Namist is sticking with him all the way. Yes, this is one of the events where Sigmundsen excels and he's very explosive and very fast. This is just up his street, but Namisto seems to be sticking with him all the way. Remember Henning Torsen, the Dane, has the leading time of 1 minute 30. Sigmundsen nearly slipped then. The baskets are really, really heavy, which he's taking. He's struggling now to get this basket on. And the Mistos took, on, the Mistos took the lead. But the Mistos going like a rocket. There's a head-to-head -head between these two. 1.34, the time to beat. Sigmundsen's going, he feels he's got enough weight. Look at the clock, he's inside him. Yes, this is the fastest heat by far, that's the winner, it surely. 124, a remarkable time, and the Mister behind him, 126, tremendous. Sigmundsen's first win of the competition, great spirit between the men who share Viking inspiration. Iceland! <laughs>